This is a quick demonstration of faceting in the scatter plot of the spatial portal of the Atlas of Living Australia. We'll pick a world extent for the data. We'll pick a primary species, in this case Eucalyptus globoidea, or white stringy bark. We won't do any highlighting. Pick two environmental variables, the first being mean annual temperature, if you know the shortcut codes, by 01. And similarly for the second environmental variable, annual precipitation, by 012. We will display the background environments that are possible in Australia. We will add a secondary species, in this case Eucalyptus globulus or bluegum. And we will call the output by default my scatter plot. There's the distribution of the species, both in the environmental space, the scatter plot, and on the map. What we can do now is take this legend and instead of just having a user-defined colour, we'll actually facet upon present or current vegetation type. So the portal goes out now and finds out what are the potential vegetation types in Australia and it sorts the classes by decreasing occurrence in Eucalyptus globoidea. So once we see that we can apply and you will see the map now coloured up and also the scatter plot on the basis of the facets. For example Eucalyptus open forest has 873 occurrences and they can be seen as the blue facet on both the map and the scatter plot. You can change size of the points independently on the scatter plot and the map. You need to click apply first. That's as easy as all that.